You can use quick pads to create buttons and other controls that can be used to run macros, open sessions or other applications, or perform other actions. In this video, we'll create a quick pad that allows you to open a session, run a macro, and open websites. You manage quick pads in the settings window. We'll select to create a new quick pad to open the quick pad designer. The designer has three panes. The left pane includes the buttons and other controls that you will add to the gridded area in the design view pane. The bottom pane is where you set the properties for the controls. We'll start by resizing the gridded area that represents our quick pad. Then select the text control and add some text that describes our quick pad. This text will be displayed on our finished quick pad so that anyone who opens it can read about how to use it. Now we'll do a quick resize of the text box. We'll arrange all of our controls a little more carefully after we have all the controls on the quick pad. We'll add some text to describe the session that our first button will open, and then resize it in the same way. We'll add the button that opens the session, along with a label and a tooltip. And then we'll select the Open Document action and browse to the session document file we want to open. Now we'll add some text for the button that opens our macro and resize it, just as we have the other text labels. Then add the button that runs the macro, along with the label for the button. And select the Run Reflection Workspace Macro action, and then select the macro that navigates to a screen in our session. Then we'll finish this button off with a tooltip. Now we'll add an Image button to open the Reflection Web Help. First, we'll select an image, and then add a tooltip for the button. Then we'll select the Open URL action, and paste in the URL for the Reflection Web Help. And then we'll add another button to open the VBA Help in the same way. We're just adding a couple of buttons here, but if we wanted to, we could create a fairly large toolbar at the bottom of our quick pad. Now that we have everything in place, we'll rearrange it to make it a little neater and easier to use. And now we'll add a title for our quick pad. We'll just leave the background color as white. We'll need to save the quick pad and then add it. And select it for this session. The quick pad is undocked, but we can dock it on any of the sides of the session. We'll dock it on the right side. You can hide the quick pad and show it when you want to use it. Now let's test our quick pad. The accounting button opens the right session, and the financial button runs a macro that navigates to the year-end financial data. The two buttons at the bottom of the quick pad open the websites for the reflection help. That's it for this video. For more information, see the links at the end of the video. Thank you.